All right, let's try that again. A little microphone problem. That would have drove my ADD crazy if I didn't stop and fix. So let's uh, go for a ride on Good Friday. It is beautiful out. It's funny, I can't get over watching these motorcycle blogs. I don't know why. Probably because I like riding so much. Guy's running with a backpack. Quite sure about that. A little quick ride through uh, downtown Chelsea, Michigan. My hometown. Been here about four years. What do you think of that? Does that look like a middle finger sticking up? It's a whole different conversation. McCune Library. It used to be a hotel, they say, in the day. Barbecue place. Cleary's Pub, my favorite place in town. Up here on the right is the clock tower. And of course, one of the staples of, uh, of Chelsea is Jiffy. Jiffy Mix. Not sure what this guy's doing up here. should say. About 55 to 60. It sure feels nice. People don't walk in their dog in shorts, but a little chilly around a motorcycle. Wanted to put on my little guards. Uh, stop that wind from going through the the highway bars, but decided it seemed like it was okay, and I didn't want to put any leathers on. Um, so, we'll just be a little chilly. Lock down our, uh, our visor to get a little warmer. Hopefully that still works for the audio. Some brothers and sisters coming. Shouldn't these people be working? Right. Stay there, Merkel truck. The beautiful roundabout just outside of Chelsea. I think people are learning how to drive it, but it's still a pretty risky place, especially if you are on a motorcycle. So I'm extremely careful through here. Amazing how riding a motorcycle feels. It's between uh, you know, the freedom of riding and how you see the world and the environment around you differently. Well, look at this mess up here with all these cars and this truck. Stay back and let it work itself out because I'm riding to enjoy. Everybody in the world is going to pass. Hmm. Which
what shall we do? There he goes. He's getting a little speed now, so I'll hang with him. I was going to go around Waterloo, but really wanted to drive up to Workner. One of my favorite routes, there's a, um, I don't know if it's a state park or what it is back there that uh, I just like riding through. I don't know why. Good turnaround spot for me. A little chilly, a little windy, but overall not too bad. Much windier as those trucks go by you. So these blogs, that motor blogs, I guess they call them. Actually, when I first started watching them, I'm like, really? People do that? And then you start watching them and... You know, I did originally to learn how to be a better rider since I've only been... Had this bike and my first... This is really my first bike. Just about a year. Really, buddy? Um, so really did it learn just really for learning and watching but heck you get to know these people and oh what is the hell is going on here this guy has lost a tire well that makes for awesome video I must say that I did not do that on purpose Wow. That is one dangerous part of riding a motorcycle. And when you get around these trucks, as you can see here, let's give it a little uh, goose here to get through this. You gotta be careful of those guys. Never really ride behind them. If you're gonna ride behind them, You do it at a distance so you could adjust if needed or cars in between you. You go another way or you pass them quickly. Woohoo! 